and if the graphs are inconsistent then a wrong statement without the variable algebraic method of solving pair of linear equations today we will start algebraic methods there are different methods cross multiplication method substitution method and elimination okay, so we will discuss each one in detail so today we will cover the substitution method this is a very simple method so we will discuss how you can solve a uh, pair of linear equation using substitution method in algebra okay we start with this problem okay i think you know this problem the aguilas problem so if you get the equations uh, the question will be same if you get the equation how we can solve using algebra not with the graph so we just copy this equations and then we will uh, we'll do in whiteboard okay i copy the equations so here the equations are 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 and then x minus 2y is equal to 0 so the equations are 3x plus 4y is equal to 20 and second equation is x minus 2y is equal to 0 so two equations we copy to whiteboard right, to the answer sheet okay and what we do is from the one of the equations given we will find the value of one variable in terms of the second that means we can choose one or two no problem so we, we give this equation number one so here we want to write x is equal to some y or y is equal to some x like so okay. so here better is simply move minus 2y to right side so what will you get x is equal to 0 plus 2y right 0 plus 2y is simply 2y okay so we got the value of x the variable x in terms of y x is equal to 2y okay. and this value of x we will substitute in the place of x of the equation number one okay so we will substitute uh, substitute x is equal to 2y in one okay x is equal to 2y how we got this from the equation number two from the equation number two we are reduced to x is equal to 2y and that value of x we substitute in the equation number one so one becomes how three into x means x is 2y right so three into 2y plus 4y same is equal to 20. okay so next step three into 2y three into two my y how much 6y plus 4 4y is equal to 20. So 6y plus 4y, how many y? 10y. Yes, 10y is equal to 20. And therefore, y is equal to 20 by 10. What's the value? Y is equal to 2. two. Y is equal to 2. Okay. So now we got the value of y y of the solution. Okay. Y coordinate so we got. Now this value we can substitute either in equation number one or you can give this as equation number two. Okay, so substitute here y is equal to two. I think better you can substitute in two. So x is equal to so two implies what four. x is equal to four. Yes, two into y is two, so two into two is four. So we got x also. Therefore, the solution is solution for a pair of linear equation we want to write the solution as a pair yeah so how we can write the pair x coordinate is 4 so we start with x coordinate for 2 for 2 is the solution and if you remember it was the same answer we got using graphical method right in graphical method the solution means the intersecting point the coordinate of the intersecting point it was for 2 right so there were only one solution because these graphs are consistent and they are intersecting at a, a single point okay so this is the method to solve using substitution method uh, sometimes the graph may be uh, coinciding or parallel 
so we will discuss one each example for coinciding and parallel pair of linear equations so th this was one uh, one equation we uh, discussed before the romila went to a stationary shop and purchased the some pencil length eraser i hope you remember this problem and uh, when we discussed this this was a dependent graph and here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 i do i hope you remember okay and we also said that there are infinite number of solutions in the case of dependent graphs okay every point on the is line our solution for this pair of linear equations okay so this question what will happen if we solve this equation using algebra 2x plus 3y is equal to and second equation is case number one second equation 4x plus 6y is equal to 18 so this is case number one and two so we can reduce one of them i think better the simpler the simplest one we can uh, reduce that's a best way okay so i think this is little more simple so i reduce from this so this we can give number one or two no problem i give single simply one and from from this we can reduce for x or y okay so better we can reduce for x so 2x is equal to 9 minus 3y so we move plus 3y to right side so in next step this into 2 you move to right side so what will be the next step x is equal to x is equal to 9 minus 3y 9 minus 3y by 2 by 2 so you should be very careful yeah. this is all divided by 2 okay all divided by 2 okay so this value we want to substitute in the equation number 1 so for this we can give equation number 2 okay so we substitute we substitute what x is equal to 9 minus 3y by 2 in equation number 1 so one become what one one becomes what 4x 4x means 4 into x is 9 minus 3y by 2 so you can write here 9 minus 3y by 2 okay then 6y 6y same is equal to 18 and from here you can cancel 4 and 2 how many 4 how many 2s in 4 2 times right the 2 here now you want to remove the bracket to remove the bracket you want to multiply 2 with the 9 and 3 way so 2 9s are 18, 18 and 2 minus 3 way minus 6y minus plus 6y is all, already here and is equal to 18 a minus 6y and plus 6y you can cancel so we reach in a statement 18 is equal to 18 18 is equal to 18 this 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 is a true statement 18 is equal to 18 or no worries okay so this is the case when we find the solution for a pair of equation if they are dependent equation in, in graphical method we have already solved this problem and we got the graphs are dependent there's only one graph they are coincide uh, they are coinciding and there are infinite number of solutions in such cases in such a pair of linear equations if you try to solve the equation using algebra you will you won't get any value for x and y but what will you get you will reach in the equation without variable but the statement is valid the statement is true 18 is equal to 18 is true but there is no there's no variable uh, we don't get to the value of variable so when you reach in a such a statement you can fix that this pair of linear equations is dependent dependent they are coinciding the graphs are coinciding and there are infinite number of solutions so in next step you can write that uh, the pair of linear equations are dependent and there are infinite number of solutions okay that's the conclusion the graphs are uh, the pair of linear equations are uh, dependent and there are infinite number of solutions okay so we have small note here you can see here some reference okay <clears throat> the first method is okay if the graphs are consistent you will get a pair of solution okay but if the graphs are not consistent there are two cases after substitution 
if the equation reduces to a statement with no variable, then two cases. If the statement is true, as we saw just before, then the pair of linear equations is dependent. Dependent. Okay. And if the statement is wrong, okay, when you reduce uh, the equation after substitution, and if you get a, a statement without without variable, and the if suppose the statement is wrong, not true, then you can uh, fix that the pair of linear equation is inconsistent. They are parallel. Okay, the last line. Okay, then the pair of equations is inconsistent. You know, inconsistent. Inconsistent means the lines are parallel. Okay, and there is no solution. If the lines are going parallel, then there is no solution for the pair of linear equations. Okay, so we'll see one example for the parallel uh, lines. So uh, also this question, the rails problem, we already discussed before. So uh, there is no solution. The graphs are in inconsistent. There is no intersecting part. Okay, so equations we just simply copy these equations. So this is a standard form. Here the equations are written in standard form. But when we use algebra to solve linear pair of equation, we usually write in the form x plus dy is equal to c form. Both are same, right? So here we simply write the equation minus 4, we move to right side. Okay. So how will be the equation? x plus 2y is equal to 4 and 2x plus 4y is equal to 2. These are the given equations. So we want to solve, and we know that this uh, this pair of equations is inconsistent. They are parallel. So we check how we can do this. So here, for one of the equations, we want to find the value of one variable in terms of the other. Okay. So we start with a simple one. So here, better you move two y to right side. So x is equal to four minus two y. So that's enough, right? So we got the value of x in terms of y. Now substitute this, substitute this in one, okay? So substituting, substituting or x is equal to four minus two i in one. So what will one become? Okay, two x means two into x is four minus two i, then plus four y is equal to, is equal to 12, right? So you uh, remove the bracket. So two times four, two times four, eight, eight minus two times minus two a, minus minus four y. Then already plus four y is here, is equal to twelve. So you can cancel minus four y and plus four y, and next step we go to ten eight is equal to twelve. Eight is equal to 12. a statement without variable, but this. Uh, this statement is wrong, right? 8 can be 12. 8 and 12 are not equal. So we reached in a statement without variable, uh, but the uh, statement is wrong. So in such cases, we you know, we can identi identify that this pair of linear equations are inconsistent. inconsistent. Yes, inconsistent and there are no solution. There's no solution. Okay, so we fix it. Okay. So this is the case when we solve a pair of linear equation, they are inconsistent. We'll reach in a statement without any variable and the statement is wrong, okay? So these are the uh, nodes. So if the pair of linear equation is consistent, then we'll definitely get one solution of problem now worries. But if the uh, pair of linear equation is dependent, Okay, then you will reach in a, a true statement without a variable. And if the graphs are inconsistent, then a wrong statement without the variable. Okay, so that's all the content. Now, we need some more practice.